right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that, actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's, really? he's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. Sure, we're going to be reaching out to the folks there in Manchester because we're going to do an update video based on the comments down below. From your comments, we're going to be going back and celebrating them when we do. But until then, let's take a look at our top golf courses that we could find in Manchester. Swinging in to number five, Prestwick Golf Club, a 4.4 with 128 golf reviews to choose from. This course is a premier desti destination built by golf architect Tom Morris, the famous golf architect, in 1851. The history behind this course is everlasting, though. If you played this course, you know how special it is. One of the top destinations, though it is private. It's a Parkland-style course, only 4,856 yards, moving us quickly into number four. Reddish Vine Golf Club, a 4.6 out of 5, 235 golf reviews to choose from. It was built in 1912 by Alester McKenzie, the doctor of golf and world-famous golf designer. This is a top 100 golf course in the country, almost year in and year out by major golf outlets. Founded in 1912, it stretches 6,086 yards, open year-round. Now, you have to be a member to play this course, so it is, unfortunately, a members-only course. And we're going to get it right. We're going to get things wrong, like those last two, but hopefully the next course we're going to get right, swinging us into our next course here at Heaton Park Golf Center. Now there's 18 holes of championship golf here in a 4.3 out of 5 with 565 golf reviews to choose from. This friendly facility has everything you would need to get the list started. This 5,765 yards from those back tees. The course itself was built in 1911 by John Taylor in his open year round. There's three different tee boxes to choose from and it is public. Moving us now into number two on this list of top golf courses and rest assured we need your comments. If you do like public golf in this area like this course here we're going to want you to write your top five courses in the comment section and we'll do an update video based on it but until then let's zoom on out and take a look at our number two course wimpington golf club a 4.5 and about 165 golf reviews to choose from this is a nice destination to get the list at least back on track semi-private golf club was built in 1892 this parkland style course is stretching 6,388 yards for a par 71. That's quickly going to move us into the number one golf course in Manchester, UK. I'll quickly moving us into a golf club called Dipsbury Golf Club. Established in 1891, there's 18 holes of parkland style golf club here if you know this it has large greens it's a private course so it's unfortunate to start the list and end the list with the private course but nonetheless it stretches 6,211 yards it was built in 1901 by Peter Alice and had some meat well no it had some updates by Peter Alice in 1973 the course it has a driving range and a bunch of other amenities that's really going to do it for this list. Rest assured, we were hoping to have more public than private. We, we promote public golf on this channel, but fortunately, we're going to rely on your comments. And if we get enough, we will do a update video based on that. Until then, hopefully we'll visit this area, play some of the public golf, and move on to the next video. This is the Parfessor.